Saxon course 2, lesson 95, is the volume of a right solid. So here we have a triangular prism, and it wants us to find the volume. So the volume of a prism, a right, right, right prism, is equal to the area of the base times the height of the object. So the area of my base, my base is this triangle here. So the area of my base since it's a triangle is going to equal the 3 times 4 divided by 2. Okay? Remember, triangle is base times height divided by 2. Base times height. Okay? And then the height of my object, as you can see from this other view, the height is going to be the 6 centimeters. So we're going to be multiplying that by 6. Okay? So 3 times 4 is 12 divided by 2 times 6. Okay, so I end up with 6 centimeters squared times 6 centimeters, which is equal to 36 centimeters cubed. Okay, this one again is a right circular cylinder, so it says the diameter across is 20 centimeters and its height is 25 and it wants me to find the volume and leave pi as pi. So again the volume equals the area of the base times the height of the object. So with this one, the area of the base since it's a circle that is pi r squared. So if, and then I'm going to multiply by that by the height. So my, first I have to find the radius which is half of 20 which is 10 so it's going to be pi times 10 squared. And I'm going to times it by the height, 25. Okay. So 10 squared is 100 centimeters squared pi. And I'm going to times that by 25. So 100 centimeters squared pi times 25 centimeters equals 2,500 centimeters cubed pi, or pi centimeters cubed. Pi centimeters cubed for my answer. Okay, with this last one, I have a shed, and I need to find the approximate value. So that means I'm going to round this 10 feet 2 inches to 10 feet. And I need to find it in two parts. I'm going to find the triangular prism first, and then I'm going to find the air, the volume of the rectangular prism. Okay, so the volume of the triangular prism is equal to is equal to the area of the base, which is going to be the triangle here, times the height of the object, which is going to be this long side here. So the area of the base is going to be Oh, area of the base divided by, yeah. So the area of the base is going to be 2 feet times 8 feet. Divided all that by 2. And then the height of my object is going to be that 10 feet. Okay. So in case you didn't see that, the height of my triangle is 2 feet. And then the base of the triangle is the same as the base of the rectangular prism, which is 8 feet. And then the height is the long side, which is very 10 feet. Okay, the twos can cancel. So I'm going to 8 feet times 10 feet. So that is equal to 80 feet cubed. Because I have this, because I have 3 feet. Okay. So the area of the top is going to be 80 feet cubed. Now I'm going to find the, the volume of the base. So again, the area of the base times the height of the object. So for this one, my base, the base of my rectangle, is here. So it's going to be 8 feet by 7 feet. And then the height, again, is that 10 feet. So the area of the base is going to be 8 times 7. And I'm going to times that whole thing by 10 feet. Okay. So... 8 times 7 is 56, times 10 is 
560 feet cubed. So now I'm going to add 560 feet cubed plus 80 feet cubed and I end up with 640 feet cubed for the volume of my entire shape. Okay, and that's it for this lesson.